a world controlled by massive corporations, a steady aim and split-second decisions are needed for your Megacon to complete its goals. Begin your missions at the Mercs Hub on beastofwar.com. Keep your blaster handy, the West is a dangerous place. Fight to survive as men turn to monsters and the dead rise on the Wild West Exodus Hub at beastsofwar.com. Hi guys, we're back for more What's in the Box and more Volsung. I'm joined again by Lucas from uh, Microworks Hello. Studio. Who have we got today? The, we have uh, the starter set for the Skura faction. So ah. this is a new faction, yes. uh, one of our Kickstarter uh, Kickstarter fashions, yes. factions. So who are these lovely, lovely little guys? If I bring uh, them in under here, you this can see. This is a crime organization uh, consisting of halflings and ogres. <laughs> so we have the halfling mafia. Yes. <laughs> okay, I, I, this, I can live with this. This sounds amazing. <laughs> so let's uh, pop open the box here and see what we get. So, uh, do, 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 you guys... Ah, I see how you close the box now. Yep. So, uh, if you open up the cards, and we will get the miniatures out and ready for everybody to see. So, I'll open up our first little guy here, and we'll see who he is. So this... Lovely this is card. Roberto Vendetta. Roberto Vendetta. Yep. So, here's his card. Uh, two actions, six movies. He's nippy for a little fella. Yeah, all of the halflings are nippy. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got some kind of steampunk armored arrangement holding his briefcase. Yeah. And an incredibly... Well, for a normal-sized human, this is a normal rifle. For him, it's taller than he is. It is De Rosa. De Rosa. De Rosa, his cyber Love rifle, it. beloved. Uh, so basically, this is a lawyer of the family, okay. and uh, uh, he has uh, he always has um, uh, his schedule uh, totally filled, so mm -hmm. he always has a contract. Ah. So whenever you field him, uh, you have to choose an enemy hero openly before the game starts uh, as his contract, and he only can target this enemy hero first. Right, so he, he's got the contract on this mm -hmm, person. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing that uh, his gun has armor piercing three. That's yes. Ouch. Anybody who's on the receiving end of this, I'm going to say it right now. Ouch. Yep. <laughs> Take a look at the strength of the weapon. Oh, uh, strength. Oh, it. Yes. <laughs> Ouch. With one critical hit, it's enough to kill most of the enemy heroes. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, this, this little guy is going to be one to watch. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we ha he has the contract rule. Yeah. Of course, because mm -hmm. otherwise he's just going after anybody. Yeah. So our next one is one of our ogres. Yep. That's so, uh, this one is guy with the arm. Yep. big mechanical arm. So that's the ogre thrower. Okay, so our ogre thrower, if I hold up his card for you here, he's very much the muscle of the family. Yes. Uh, so the miniature itself is really nice. It's really dynamic as well, because he's up on one foot, charging forward, one fist back, and the other arm, which is a, a lovely little steampunk creation, mm -hmm. is just up and ready to give someone a decent uppercut. Yeah, so, so who exactly is the ogre thrower? Well, he's a tank of the family. Mm -hmm. uh, he has an armor of 15 wounds, hard to kill rule, so he's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, it also, his stat line uh, is quite high, uh, but that's because the skilla, uh, the skilla funds value is mm -hmm. uh, mm, mm, pretty thin. Mm -hmm. So you, you basically, uh, the you had you get to uh, much more for your bag than you would mm -hmm. normally get yeah. from other other, other families. Uh, another thing, uh, he can throw models he hits in melee. I, I was just thinking yeah. about that because and I'm seeing it. Last time I was arm. here. I was saying that you cannot throw a, a killed model. Uh, well, we checked the exact wording of the rules, oh, and can you? the damage happens at the end of every action. <laughs> so you are not throwing a dead body. You are throwing a dead bo a body with a sentence, <laughs> a death sentence. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> Lovely. So that's our ogre thrower. Next up, we have uh, oh. This, this fella doesn't look too happy. He's got chains hanging around his ankles. Yep. That's Vito Vendetta. Okay, Vito Vendetta. So here's his card. Oh, he He's does... He's not nippy. He does not look like a happy bunny. No. Uh, I'm looking at his miniatures here, and I'm seeing he has been chained down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, was he perhaps given a... 
a dunking in the local river. Uh, yes, he had. Um, uh, he was sleeping with the fishes. Yes. Uh, but then he came back uh, with a vengeance. Uh, of course. Yep. So he is the betrayed lover mm -hmm. uh, from the family. He's also got a really lovely little Tommy gun. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. It's. It's one of my favourite weapons from all of history. It has to be that old school gangster scale Thompson submachine gun with the yeah. massive drum mag. They're quite hard to use, actually, mm -hmm. up to their full, full potential. Uh, but there are some tricks. Yes, of course there are some tricks, but the actual weapon itself, yes, yeah. it had a tendency that whenever it was kicking, it would draw up the way. What mm -hmm. they did was clever. On the front of the barrel, they actually put a, a suppressor mm -hmm. with vents on the yeah. top. Yeah. So she pushed herself back down uh -huh. as it was trying to draw up. Yeah. Which is very clever. So, what does this little guy do? Well, he's an undead, mm -hmm. uh, and he is slow. Uh, he he uses the combination of the uh, familia and vendetta rule uh, mm -hmm. to the full limit because um, vendetta is the, the rule that all the heroes from the vendetta family have, and the familia is the rule that some of the henchmen have, mm -hmm. uh, the more powerful henchmen. Uh, and how they counteract, uh, how they act with each other is that whenever a vendetta model is reduced to one wound or less. Mm -hmm. uh, all the familiar models within six inches make an action. I see. So you can have the ogres around, and whenever he is reduced to one wound or less, so right. he dies. Yeah, well, but he is hard to kill. Dies, but yeah. hard to kill, so stays there with one wound. Mm -hmm. Then all the ogres around uh, may uh, make an action. So you can activate objectives with this action, you can uh, punch somebody, you can yeah. shoot somebody. So it's just that moment of, Oi, you killed the boss, now you're yeah. in for it. And the boss, ah, I'm alright! <laughs> No, 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 he's, he's probably lying on the ground going, play dead, play dead. Don't worry, lads, I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. Yeah. It'll be grand. Thank, thanks, for, thanks for kicking their teeth in, though. That was nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next up, we have the cutest little creation of the set. Mm -hmm. It's a little female character with a slingshot. And the slingshot itself is one of the beautiful pieces of this miniature for me. Because if you look, it's actually been sculpted so that the band is being drawn on it which is not something you see very often with this kind of thing. Uh, the miniature herself is a beautifully sculpted little lady uh, in a very, very nice little dress. Her artwork is brilliant as well. Uh, whoa! Movement six. Yep. Nippy, nippy little lass. Movement six. Fight of one, strength mm -hmm. of two, yep. but guns of three. Yeah, so and uh, a slink. Yes, so I'm guessing she's running around the battlefield on the rooftop, just picking people off the whole time. Yeah, the sling has a small caliber rule, so you mm -hmm. are not picking anybody who has at least one point of armor because mm -hmm. you double that. Yeah. Uh, so if strength of two, if somebody has a armor of one, that means you deal no damage at all. Yeah, but I like the fact that she can just go after minions, those soft targets yes. that are on the fringes, yes. and take out and maybe you, some you like just your butlers. Pepper them with uh, with uh, those rocks and bullets because mm -hmm. you have fast shot too. That means yep. that this little model uh, gets uh, four shots uh, per activation, so yep. two per action. Yeah. And she has a mob rule. Mob rule mm -hmm. is a new rule for the Skilla models uh, yep. that applies to the smaller uh, minions, basic, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, so whenever you buy those henchmen, you get two of them for the price listed. I see. And when you activate them, you have to activate uh, two, if possible, uh, models with the mob rule. These do not have to be the same kind of models. So you can activate, for example, uh, the Halfling Worker yep. and let's say uh, uh, Vedetta uh, Kazin. Mm. Uh, 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 so it's so you, you can really get a lot of your forces acting at the same time and really yes. working in yes. concert. So you have, really you have a lot of miniatures on the, on the actual table, but you don't have uh, this uh, huge number of activations you would normally have. Mm. Uh, on the other hand, the models are quite squishy. Uh, maybe, but I think that this is the thinking man's faction. You know, you're not just going to be running forward going, I am going to beat you into a bloody pulp. Mm -hmm. You're going to be drawing them in, picking off your targets as you want them. You're not just going to go, okay, mash them all. You know, I see someone, oh, you've overextended here, right? You're going to pay for that now. Oh, look, you're defending really hard there. I'm going over here where you're not going to be dealing with me quite so handily. You know, yeah. The, the skill you... shines at uh, dealing with objectives and activations mm. because you can uh, really uh, have uh, multiple model activations mm -hmm. and uh, how the activatable objectives work is when you have models uh, uh, nearby the objective, mm -hmm. then you get one die uh, per henchman model to, uh, to activate. Mm -hmm. So let's say you have an objective with a difficulty of t two, it means that you have to roll two successes. Mm -hmm. So with one henchman model you got one die, so you have no chance to activate it. But with mob rule you can activate two models, one, uh, have one die, the second have two dice. 
So okay. <laughs> so it's it's basically allowing you to play more to the objective as well. Yes. Yes. Okay. Very cool, guys. Something to watch out for. Okay. Next up, uh, let's go for our next little guy. Mm -hmm. This is the uh, second model from the pair of the mob models. Mm -hmm. So this is also a halfling worker. Yeah. Uh, a lovely little male variant one. who has a very classical style to his sculpt. I will say. So here he is. He's this great little pot-bellied dude in a, a little peaked cap. Which is very nice. And is he smoking a cigar? Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, and That's also lovely. he has a lighter in his hand. Yep, so on the other little bit of the sprue we have one hand with a lighter and the other one is a weapon, which is a, a nice little wrench. Yep. This is because uh, this is part of the uh, background of the Scylla, uh, mm -hmm. which is that uh, halflings uh, formed this uh, crime organization uh, yep. After they were uh, being, f they were forced uh, to move from the country to the city and be uh, factory workers. I see. Yeah. I so see, they so. are the low class. Yeah, they are the working class. Uh, well, I, that does make a lot of sense for the fact that they've now gone. You know what? Let's keep it all in the family. Let's mm -hmm. uh, stick together here. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, so we're getting a bit downtrodden. Yep. Don't worry. Family's got your back. Very very nice. And our last one is our second ogre. Yep. So this guy, again, really nice dynamic pose on him. This is our ogre gangster. So mm -hmm. if he's that big, I can't get him out the bag. <laughs> so uh, here's his main body. Uh, he's a very, very big guy. Again, we're seeing that nice dynamic pose of him charging forward into the fray. Mm -hmm. In his other hand, he's got one steampunk arm, but he's got a rather large Thompson submachine gun compared to our, our other little skiller. Yeah. So, uh, here's his card. Uh, movement 5, not bad. Strength of 6, pretty good. Guns of 2, reflex of 2, not bad. So, what is this guy going to be doing on the This table? guy is going to be, to be uh, the jack of all trades of, mm -hmm. of this class. So, the, the ogre thrower was the uh, uh, tank mm -hmm. that you push forward and uh, uh, try to do maximal, dam maximal damage. Mm -hmm. uh, but it will draw a lot of fire and attention because he is so, so good at it. Mm -hmm. This guy is a bit in the shadow. He can shoot slightly, she can fight slightly. Mm -hmm. uh, he is very tough uh, as well, so he has hard to, hard to kill 15 wounds. Uh, so he is there to stay. Okay, so I'm thinking what I would do with this guy from my own understanding is I would maybe ha hang him back as a second stringer, keep him maybe near my hero just mm -hmm. in case something goes horribly wrong. Yeah, for example, your hero is reduced to one wound and at the vendetta rule applies. Uh, of course, but let's say something goes horribly wrong and the hero actually does get killed. He gets his vendetta, but it means that he's at least near enough by that he can actually get in and maybe try and intercept before mm -hmm. the hero dies. Mm -hmm. You know, so this isn't one I would be running up on the front lines, guys. This is one to hold back and actually use as a bodyguard for your heroes. Yes, park him near, nearby an objective, uh, mm -hmm. prefer, uh, preferably higher up, uh, so that he can have uh, elevation bonus. Yeah, and you can pepper people with uh, the Tommy gun, and they yep. will not be able to actually kill you very fast in melee. Perfect. Unlike other hench uh, henchmen. Uh, halfing models. Perfect. Right, well, guys, uh, I think I want to see these guys built because they look like a beautiful, beautiful faction. So we're going to tell you about some hubs and we'll be right back. It's time for 28mm World War II action. Will you recreate history or reshape it your way? On the Bolt Action Hub at beastsofwar.com. Flames of War brings you the battles of World War II in epic 15mm scale. Go to the hub on beastsofwar.com to find news, tactics, and tutorials about the game. Okay guys, we're back. We have the faction built, and they were fantastic to put together. I actually put these together myself, and I'm very happy yes, with how they went together. So first up, we have our little female, female worker sculpt, with the little sling uh, drawn back, and looking very, very nice. We have our, our male version, with his lighter cigar and a wrench ready to hit somebody in the shins. Then we have our ogres. Now these guys look absolutely brilliant when they're done. Yeah, especially when you put a small half yeah, model next to them. You step. really get a sense of just how big and beefy these guys are. So we have our gangster with his Tommy gun uh -huh. and our thrower with that big mechanical arm ready just to chuck people all over the board. We then have our little lawyer guy. Mm -hmm. with, and you really see how tall that gun is compared to him yeah. now. Yes. So it's. It's really, really nicely done. And our last guy with his Tommy gun, chains around his feet. I honestly cannot wait to get these on the tabletop and see how they play. Uh, so you're wanting to show off yeah. the actual chains on his feet. 
He has chainsaws on his feet and a fishing net on his back, and oh, there is that. some seaweed. <laughs> I missed that. That's going to make for a very interesting little painting project. Well, guys, I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to see how these guys play on the tabletop. Now, don't forget, we do have a series called Walsung Stratagems, and myself and Lukash are going to be doing some stuff on this faction during the series. So stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video. Humanity has been driven from Earth, but now it's time to take it back. Join the Reconquest and fight the Scourge on the Drop Zone Commander Hub at BeastsOfWar.com. Fight for the Iron Kingdoms as a Warcaster. Take control of the Mighty Jax, Arcane Devices and Dark Sorceries to bring the fight to the War Machine Hub on BeastsOfWar.com.